Welcome to the DCU, or better known as the June Cinematic Universe. This universe consists of three films, June, June, and Planet June. With that being said, buckle up, buttercup, and get ready for a spicy ride. And join us in watching the DCU. Planet June. A big old ripoff. Straight in. Straight in with the worms. There's no teasing. <laughs> There's... <laughs> oh, he's gonna go for the face. Go on. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> this is awful. It's not awful. Ooh, kind of. Space Force Intercell Operations Base. <laughs> That's <laughs> such a generic title. And how much longer is this babysitting gonna last? Oh, she's got repressed rage. Do you think we're gonna have a strong, independent female lead? She's gonna be wearing a tank top for sure. Mm, I want guns out. Dog tags. She's got a nice bit of lippy on. Do you like the older woman though? I do like the older woman. Love you, Carol. <laughs> she is so angry. Look at that pow. Oh, God. I said copy, ma'am. Captain. <laughs> You would not get away with that kind of sass on any kind of shit. No, if you were in the actual army. Oh, the Russians! I don't remember the Russians have anything to do with Dune. Yeah, me neither. What's going on here? I think the Russians are up to some dodginess. Always. This is Major Hawkins. <laughs> Solar Farm is Russian jurisdiction only. <laughs> Stay the course, let the Russians handle their own rescue. I think this is really negative stereotyping of the Russian nation, actually. Yeah, they're never <laughs> good guys, are they? <laughs> I mean, every movie there, the bad guys. <laughs> Maybe we need to watch the Russian version of Planet June. <laughs> then we get a more equal representation. This is fake Western propaganda. Danny lives the peony. Turn your ship around and stand by. I just can't. My pride. My heart. I have no air. Please help me. And I'm also hot. I'm really hot if that changes anybody's mind. Major Hawkins, I am go for the Russian cosmonaut. Sounds like a drink, doesn't it? A Russian cosmonaut. <laughs> Can I get a Russian cosmonaut from the racks? Ooh, I'd love a Russian cosmonaut, please. Sorry, transmission's cutting out. Losing radio signal. I'm losing radio signal, guys. I told you to update it last sorry. week. Sorry. Sorry, not sorry. I'm too busy saving lives over here. What if it's a trap? It's a trap. What was that? Admiral Akbar. And that voice, where did that come from? From the gut. It's really good. Thanks. Give me your tracking device. <laughs> Overacting a ball. Uh, she looks like a 16 year old being told off by her mum. No one cares. <laughs> That's what you need. Put her in a place. I love the lady. Oh, yeah, her butt is so tight. You broke military law by disobeying a direct order. What has this got to do with Dune? You can literally just tell that with this movie, they've just put Dune on the front title and just so like the people watch it. And you know what? It's worked. You are a great pilot. But I can't make that case to command anymore. Throw off the ship. <laughs> Throw off the ship. Walk the plank. If you refer me to a labor assignment in the penal system, I- <laughs> Penal. <laughs> You're gonna be flying an F-level tugboat. I'll tug your boat <laughs> in the penal system. <laughs> I don't really know what's going on. Are they all space criminals? Are we all just living in space now? How far in the future are we? Astrid, meet your new crew. What's up? What's up? <laughs> Your reputation precedes you. Oh, it's an all-female tank top oh, wearing yeah. butch trying to prove something crew. My engine went out when I was saving someone's life. And that's why you're here giving guided tours to cosmonauts. Okay, let's get something. <laughs> let's get something straight, okay? Some of us save lives and some of us just do mechanical stuff, all right? <laughs> I was just introducing your pilot. I'm Brad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm bad. No, it's like... Hey, I'm, uh, I'm Brad. Why would they, why would they put all these potential prisoners on a really important mission? That just doesn't make any sense to me. I think they're supposed to be like the shittiest sad occur. I think this film has got nothing to do with June apart from the title and the sandworms and the planet and that's it. Oh yeah, and the drink as well. <laughs> yeah, she's getting out of her No wonder she's a fucking bad person. She's drinking while she's driving spaceships. Yeah, you can't be drunk on the job. Yo, Astrid. Uh, look, she looks like she's doing cocaine as well. Did you see that? <laughs> yeah, I saw it. She's probably doing a few bumps beforehand. Lieutenant Young. She wants to bang. She does want to bang. Bangs wants to bang. Bangs, Bob, Brad, and I need to think of a name for the other one. Uh, Bangs, Bob, Brad, and... Boobs? I haven't seen him yet. <laughs> Good 
didn't say. Nice takeoff, pilot. How about I take off your <laughs> top? That's not that bad. It'll get us there. I can only do my best driving when I'm drunk. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go on ahead and mosey on down to the engine room. Yeah. Just give me a once over. I'll give you the once over. Will do, boss. It's Lieutenant. Lieutenant Boss. Oh! Are we gonna have a problem here? I get the feel. Oh my god, she's just after a problem. <laughs> this dialogue is so off. It doesn't feel very organic. No, not organic at all. Well, at least this time it wasn't your fault. You better check yourself. Well, you wreck yourself, cause I'm bad for your health. I come real stuff. What, you wanna go? <laughs> How many times are they gonna have these cheesy stand -offs? It's like every time they talk, it's just like, Fuck me, pal. Fuck you. No, 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 no. Fuck me. I can see why she was fired. Oh, God. She's, she's all over the place. This, uh, she's getting on my tits. What is her deal? What's your deal? Bangs is just like, you are literally a twat as well. <laughs> but I'd bang you both, so. <laughs> Gifted one. Yeah, okay, I got it. I got it. I'm amazing. <laughs> Shut up. Don't need you to say it again. Wait, wait, did it boom attack? <laughs> you can ask. <laughs> oh, they're so gonna fuck. Uh, they are so gonna fuck. Uh, Bangs is going to bang. Gurning, isn't she? Yeah, she's yours. Just fiending for the juice. Easy. We don't want a wheelbarrow. Yeah, I know. I know what I'm doing. Jay, shut up, Stephanie. Planetary profile said that the atmosphere is totally. Shut up, Brad. <laughs> <laughs> Drop an anchor. Why would that. <laughs> what? Why would you have an anchor? Why would that even. <laughs> What? what? Why did you drop an anchor? What kind of janky parking is that? It's not a hot air balloon. Why are you dropping an anchor? Do you get to stop them skidding? Oh, fucking no. How long before we see a worm, do you think? We've already seen a worm. Basically, all the suspense of the worms. It's gone. There's no suspense. We know what they look like. We know what they do. They take names and monge faces. Stay sharp, guys. Our uh, mission has changed. We have to repopulate the planet. <laughs> Brad's just like, I'll do it for the mission. Well, we skis up in an hour. Skis up in an hour, baby. He's gonna die first. Brad. Yeah. This is all about female empowerment mm. and the phallic shaped evil creature that's living on Dune. <laughs> no, you don't understand. Yeah, you idiot. <laughs> Shut up, bangs. Guys, we don't even know why it's so far from the landing zone. Maybe some of your Russian French. Oh, yeah, dirty little Russian lover. <laughs> <laughs> I, bet, I bet you wanted him to invade Ukraine. Hmm? I am C5, this is Mall V1, do you copy? If you're not invaded by evil worms, don't say anything on the radar. <laughs> okay, I think we're good. <laughs> if you're there, say nothing. <laughs> hey, guys, coming in! <laughs> There's an active volcano less than 15 miles away. How does he know that? <laughs> My spidey senses. <laughs> I can smell the sulfur. <gasps> It's moonshine. <laughs> Mama's moonshine? <laughs> My mama's moonshine. Grandmother was a shine runner back in Prohibition, so what? Back in Prohibition? What is she talking? When was this movie set? We're on spaceships. Back in Prohibition. My grandma back in Prohibition. When does that date this? <laughs> it's from 1930s, you see. <laughs> <laughs> My grandma's from Chicago. Oh my God. And she was running with the wrong tide. She got that, she got that bottle over there from the speakeasy. Were you drunk flying us here? No, I wasn't drunk. I was tipsy. <laughs> <laughs> I disobeyed orders and I deflected it and I burned down my engine. And then I had a drink. One drink. <laughs> One really long, <laughs> long, long drink. I had one drink. It may have been 90%, but it was just one drink, guys. <laughs> the worms just that like, that moonshine. There could be worms inside. We just don't know. Tapeworm. They just pull out. It's one of them starts uh, pulling out a tapeworm. Uh. <laughs> Look, I don't think it's broken, but um, be careful putting weight on. He's been laying there with a broken leg. And she's just coming along like, I, th I don't think it's broken, just be careful when you <laughs> yeah. walk on it. And he's like, oh, okay, I'm fine now. It's the equivalent of someone just prodding like your <laughs> wound or something. She'd be like, eh, there's nothing wrong there, it looks right. Oh, I've been sat here for two days for no reason. <laughs> yeah, I've been throwing up for five hours. <laughs> <laughs> just cause. <laughs> it's pushing the rocks aside. Mm, nothing happening, I don't think. Nerd alert. So do the conga. <laughs> It just Good looks bitch. like a dong, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it just looks like a shadow dong. <laughs> Isn't this what got you in trouble in the first place? 
disobeying orders to play hero. It just sounds like your mum and dad are arguing in front of you. They yeah. don't want the children to hear. The worm's just outside listening to the whole thing. It's like, Jesus Christ, guys, make up your minds. <laughs> should I chase you to the ship or should I chase you somewhere else? <laughs> He's okay. He's just passed out. All right, we'll just leave him there. <laughs> Time to go, ladies. Yeah. So wait, are they leaving the guys behind? Yeah. Girl power. <laughs> it just looks like a dong. <laughs> you okay? Water? She's been there for a couple of days. <laughs> In that spot, she would have been burnt to a crisp. <laughs> she literally looked like a baked potato. <laughs> she would. She was literally five minutes away from her friend who had the broken leg. And she's like, I'm just going to sit outside for a bit. <laughs> it was waiting for them. Sorry. Want a drink? Help you forget. <laughs> I've been using a telemetric scanner. Insert sci-fi jargon. <laughs> Is she gonna give her the flask? Yeah, give her the flask. Here. Yeah! <laughs> Make it a party. <laughs> that burns like like rocket fuel. Yeah. It's actual moonshine. Oh, stop telling everyone your great grandma made moonshine. You should try it up your butt sometime. <laughs> <laughs> She's really trying. She's really trying to cry, Blazer. <laughs> Here comes the choo choo train. <laughs> then she just brings out the moonshine. Baby, <laughs> oh, Ooh, it's a glowing worm. Ooh. No wonder what a start. It's not plugged in. Just looks like an extension cable. Yeah. There we go. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> oh, that's so goofy. First time anyone's ever said that about me. Oh, oh God, someone's got daddy issues. <laughs> I wonder what the guys are doing. Just chill in, just like, oh, these girls are just pretty intense, aren't they, mate? Yeah. Here they are, mate. My legs are in a bit still. Hopefully they get the freighter done. Oh, I'll take your mind off it. Do you want to listen to this podcast? <laughs> It's this great guy called Shmo Jogan. Ma'am, it's not Russians, it's worms. It's not Russians, it's worms. <laughs> Imagine if that was the case today. <laughs> Just hours ago, worms began their attack. What about the worm? <laughs> what is this voice? <laughs> what about the worm? Yo, I'm scared. <laughs> so? Slow. Faster. Faster. Slow. <laughs> I... I, I can't breathe. <laughs> Change your plans. We're going up to the ceiling. You can't climb. What can you do? Mate, he's about as useless as a bag of dicks, isn't he? We're going up. What are you bitching about? Nothing. You didn't even climb. You're gonna ride the worm? Imagine. You said it wasn't based on the book. Oh, oh God. my God. What? Oh, that's hilarious. Basically, Paul Atreides. The worm's just sitting politely for him, staying still. What? Now scooch on down here and get on board. We don't have all day. Scooch on down here. <laughs> get that's your that. tight little butt over here. <laughs> get your gluteus maximuses planted on this worm right now. It's a bit insulting, isn't it? It's like, we're going to take this really cool aspect of the book, but we're just not going <laughs> to pay any attention to any other part of it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> Smart. Harley and I were supposed to get married when this one was done. Wait, the guy in the cave? Yeah. He's way too young for her. No. He's like 20. She's like sugar mama. Oh, that was her kid. Still, if it weren't for me, we would be on a beach somewhere sipping my ties. <laughs> <laughs> on the bright side, at least she's on sand. Yeah, you should in the water. Yeah. And the and when the dehydration proper sets in, you'll start hallucinating it. You see water everywhere. <laughs> We'd be... Zipping me. <laughs> yeah, we gotta pick up the pace. Why are they so far away now? I don't know. She's... She just jumped across the sand to get her, and it's she's been an hour. <laughs> yeah, she did like action man sprinting. Yeah. And then she got her, and then they've taken like five hours to get back. Bloody faffing, that's what they've been doing. What you got in your backpack? I mean, most of my equipment is going to be all that useful. Oh, God. Just try and be a little bit upbeat, you know what I mean? I don't want a Mai Tai. <laughs> I'm a little bit drunk. Plastic Petri 
three dishes. I have sample vial. I'm making a different kind of cocktail. It's called Sand on the Beach. <laughs> Why? I'm gonna make a bomb. <laughs> we got a montage of making a bomb. Montage. <laughs> Mantage! What is this? It just looks like five-year-olds playing with like a Play-Doh lab kit or something. Didn't need a montage. <laughs> really didn't. Didn't even do anything. And she's gonna save everyone drunk. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Is, she's actually uh, still at home right now. She's all just a drunken dream. Yeah, she's just having a drunken fever dream. Oh, oh she's God. crying again. <laughs> She, she needs she needs some water. She needs to be sobered up. This is a riot. This ship will explode. <laughs> <laughs> Not Astrid. She's tougher than that. You've known her for like five minutes. You don't even She's really like her. That. I've seen her take five shots of that moonshine. <laughs> <laughs> She's fucking flammable. <laughs> She's got an iron stomach. <laughs> There's getting dinner. Where's my fucking moonshine? I'm fucking fucking shakes. Take this bong. <laughs> Let me feel like I'm doing my job. Oh God. Oh jeez. I despise her. That didn't even work. <laughs> what have I done? <laughs> I shouldn't even be here. Oh, what? God. Then what about a rehabilitation program? No. If you refer me to a labor assignment in the penal system, I promise you, I will repay you. Yes, the lowest class there is, and it's a dangerous assignment. And Astrid, you'll be working crew with other criminals. Now, let's get back to the show. God, why can't I just follow orders? Just do what people expect of me. <laughs> <laughs> why am I such a badass? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, oh, that's some good shit. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> it's Marilyn. Marilyn! <laughs> Where's the team? I'm sorry, Harley. I don't understand why it's Marilyn. <laughs> She's like, I can't read him. He's a psycho. What do you want? <laughs> <laughs> Why is no one helping her? Why is the worm not moving? Why, why wasn't she what monged? What is happening? Why wasn't she monged? I'm gonna stand right in front of the worm's mouth. <laughs> I'm just gonna, it's not gonna bite me. And the other guys are just like, oh, she's, uh, she seems okay. You know what this the fucking main girl reminds me of? She reminds me of like a rich kid who just gets whatever she wants whenever she wants. Yeah. And like she just gets everything she wants just handed to her on a plate. Shouldn't learn anything. We've lost one of our thrusters. I can't get any higher. Do you think she's just gonna go to the, the other thruster and just start spitting moonshine into it <laughs> like in Mad Max? <laughs> you know what? I wouldn't put it past it. It's a timed fusion grenade. It'll blow a hole in the side of that worm. So how do I deploy it? Poor little baby Brad. No, big boy Brad. Big boy Brad. He escaped a volcano, thank you very much. All the girls treat him like baby Brad. I didn't realize that was happening outside. Oh! Chase! What, what the yeah. fuck happened there? Something fell on her. Maybe it was a book. <laughs> big, oh, Cause she God. needs to be the one to do it. We're all she? living in her fucking story. <laughs> the thrusters are maxed out. Yeah. Supercharge it. Moonshine. Oh. Moonshine. Moonshine. Oh my god. She's gonna do it. No. No. They called it rocket fuel. Oh my god. This is fucking ridiculous. This does yes, not this promote good stereotypes. <laughs> so that's I'm... what the moonshine was foreshadowing the whole time. Oh. That's just lazy writing. Oh, oh my gosh. god. Are you sure this isn't a comedy? It says horror. <laughs> There will have been some dad or some mum that's gone to their kid like, oh, watched a lovely film at the weekend it's called Planet Doom. <laughs> you like the books, though. Yeah, Harry. <laughs> Stay with me. So you're giving her... CPR because she'd been knocked out. By... You're giving mean... her CPR because she's got concussion. Because <laughs> she'd been knocked out. Just slap her around a bit. She's obviously, like, her heart's beating. She's making that face. <laughs> Why are we flying into the volcano? She's like, why the fuck are you pressing on my ribs? This fucking hurts. Why what the we... fuck is this plot? Why are we flying into a volcano? I don't know. What happened to the worm with the bomb down its throat? <laughs> this is such a goofy plot. It's all right, two white women are going to save the day. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pleased to inform you you're being reinstated to rescue team. We're happy to have you back. <laughs> Vasily Petrikov isn't just any Russian. 
We get sponsored by his company. <laughs> we don't care that you drink drive. <laughs> We're willing to cover that up if you're willing yeah. not to talk about it. You did it. Why is she getting all the credit? <sighs> Why is she getting all the credit? Literally, if it wasn't the home girl at the back with the goth lippy, she would be fucked. I'll put in a request. I think it'll be approved. What are you talking about? You're probably under arrest. No, she's basically formed a new rescue team with the lot. Uh... So that's why she's like, you in, Brad? You in, Bangs? I don't see why they should be. They're all incredibly dysfunctional together and the communication is piss poor. She's just going, do what I say and run after me. <laughs> Everybody start drinking. June, the new one. You know, the one with Timothy Chalamet in it. Rolling over the sands. You can see spice in the air. Spice in the air. Spice Girls. Watch <laughs> That's gotta be a joke somewhere. Spice Girls. <laughs> Wear me spice. <laughs> Their cruelty to my people is all I've known. Coming in here. Taking our spice. <laughs> And who will our next oppressors be? Your husband. <laughs> Your husband. <laughs> He's cute though. Use the voice. Mom, I just woke up, man. man. Don't use the, the voice, man. Imagine if the voice was just like seductive, like use the <laughs> voice on me. He's just like he's like Barry White. He's like, hey, baby, <laughs> pick up that cup, please, baby. <laughs> Oh, 16 year old girls everywhere are just losing their minds at this scene. Prolonged eye contact from Timothy Chamley. Those are the come to bed eyes if I've ever I've seen them. She's like, You look so damn fine in your uniform right now. How much will it cost them traveling all this way for this formality? Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> You're sealed. Baby, I just put my ring in the wax on the table. Ooh. Hey, look at that sexy man. Hey, look at that sexy man. <laughs> look at that sexy man. <laughs> oh, come on, what are you doing here? Jason Momoa, more like Jason Wow Wow Wee Wow. <laughs> I saw you lying dead. All right. You know what? Paul is just the <laughs> ultimate killjoy. <laughs> Does She's no one take essence. Paul... To a party, he's just gonna have a depressing dream about all of you. He's just be like, you're gonna die in a car crash. Your mum's gonna die. Your father doesn't love you. <laughs> it's just final destination, isn't it? <laughs> oh, such an edge lord! I want That's that fine. jacket. Paul's the kind of person that makes you have an existential crisis. <laughs> yeah, and he's like, oh, I'm sorry. Just walks away. Very good. Look at that badonga don. <laughs> It's a big slice of cake. Baron BBW, baby. There's the posse. When you see girls with like bin bags over the head, stop the hair getting wet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so creepy. Let him sleep, man. Oh, oh when Jesus. you get confused between the woman in your dreams and your mum waking <laughs> you up. <laughs> she would like to meet you. Why? You're a fucking wizard! He's amazed. All she do. I don't know Paul knew more than one language. He's trained as a mentat though, he knows everything. Well, not know everything, he's like super clever. But yeah, what doesn't he have? Empathy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... <laughs> <laughs> when your mum's angstier than you are. Oh, yeah. The... <laughs> when your mum's like Spotify playlist is more emo than you are. <laughs> They, they walk in and the, the Reverend Mother's just playing my cam just in the <laughs> corner. Defiance in the eyes. And a cute little birdie. Come here, Neil. Put your right hand in the box. Mm. <laughs> Put your right hand in the box, man. Oh, <laughs> if you just listened to it, you'd think it was something very different. Mm. <laughs> It's the little death that brings obliteration. You know what the French call an orgasm? A little death. A little death, and she just said a little <laughs> death. All the hundreds of women living inside her head are just like, She's do like, it, do it, do it. Don't take your hand down the backs, don't take your hand down the backs. <laughs> yeah. It's like he's going cross eyed. If you had been unable to control your impulses like an animal, we could not let you live. You have feelings and emotions. Die. And <laughs> <laughs> to the dungeons! <laughs> Making everyone feel very uncomfortable with your outward emotions. <laughs> have you dreamt of her before? 
Many times. Oh, you dirty little bastard. <laughs> oh, look at that. That's what the Reverend Mother was feeling when he had his hand in the box. <laughs> <laughs> Those look very phallic. Am I wrong? I think it's just your brain. It's falling sand. I, I love they... the fact that they'd used bagpipes. Why do you think that is? Do you think they, they try to make the 3D squash? <laughs> You'll never take our freedom! <laughs> I'm looking for a Fremen girl. <laughs> She's got blue eyes. We've all got blue eyes. <laughs> <laughs> She's hot. Well, hot. It's a desert. <laughs> My lord. Sun's getting too high. We need to seal the doors. We need to seal the doors. The seal the door! <laughs> you know the ancient tongues. <laughs> <laughs> the weapon is meant as a gift. You want to see my blade? I got loads of blades. <laughs> <laughs> I got a switch knife. I got a butter knife. I got a katana in my back room. You know what makes me think of? Aww. Makes me think of Little Mermaid. <laughs> He just like comes up, he's like, I can show you the world, shining, shimmering, splendid. That's oh, that's a <laughs> I love his vibe. He is vibing. He's dainty. He's dainty with that umbrella. He gives me kind of like gay uncle kind of vibes. Still go. Is that what you want? Sir, I respect the personal dignity of any man that respects mine. Let's get two worms over it. Yeah. Gets to the point. <laughs> two worms and an orthopter, right? <laughs> oh. Imagine if he did a really drooly one. I cannot promise not to travel into the desert if duty compels me. But your sieges will be yours forever. Oh, it's just icky, isn't it? It's like, you're saying the right things, but it's, you know, we'll let you. Mm. We'll let you keep what's rightfully yours. Jason, I'll drink your mimosa. Oh, you've been thinking about it for a while. <laughs> sounds like something. Timothy Crembrele. Ooh, Timothy Crembrele. It's works. got a ring to it, isn't it? got a ring to it. Makes some people crem. <laughs> <laughs> I'm being sucked in. Oh. <laughs> Tim will crem in your brulee. A still suit is a high efficiency filtration system. It cools the body and recycles the water lost to sweat. It also converts your poo and whey in the water as well, which is fucking gross. Oh, oh we've shit. We've all had a floppinzy. <laughs> oh, mate, he's going to snort that when he gets back, isn't it? <laughs> he's, he's tripping already. Do you think the worm just just chokes on it, like the, the metal thing? It's just like... <laughs> <laughs> just spits it back out. Yeah. Everything they've left us is in shambles. Timothy Chambolet. <laughs> that was an allergic reaction. I was dripping bows. <laughs> hmm, I like the relationship. A good, a good relationship's always built on head scratches. And back scratches. Mm, I don't like this bit. No! No! Let's fucking go. With me! There goes the bagpipes. <laughs> Run! Hey, go on! <laughs> go on, Idaho. Duncan, in your hole. No? Okay. No, no sorry. Oh, I like that. You can hear all the Benny Gesserits in his voice. Put up the walls. Put up the walls. Put up the emotional walls. Right, we're damned in. We're good. Let's go. That's how I sit when I'm mm. working at work about five o'clock. That's the position <laughs> I'm in. <laughs> The fuck this shit. Oh, the way his legs are just limp against the table. <laughs> like a wet fish. I said I'd set her free. That you could join her. So join her. He got fucked over on semantics. He's like, I set her free from her life. <laughs> Psych! <laughs> I love that. He's still scared of him, even though he's catatonic like that. He's fucking paralyzed and he's still a little pussy putting yeah. up a shield. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Oh. Uh. How did he get up there? He's got suspenders on, hasn't he? Suspenders on. Hey, he is fucking space. Get off me! Ooh. You did this to me. You better Jesuit made me a freak. Made me a freak, mom. <laughs> Fuck you, mom. Sweat and tears. I love his sex tape. <laughs> You'd make a play for the throne. The Emperor feared the Atreides. Atreides nuts. <laughs> he brought you here to kill you. What don't you understand? I'm hung. 
I'm young. <laughs> What's there to understand, lady? <laughs> one, I one. am <laughs> Timothy Chamelay, heartthrobber. They are sick. So, are these Harkonnens really sad the cur? I think these are sad the cur. <laughs> Why are you whispering? I don't know. Dunk the hunk full of spunk. <laughs> he is a specimen. This is, oh my god, you know who Duncan Idaho is in this moment? He's Bar um, Boromir, yeah. Yeah, Bar yeah, thinking yeah. the same thing. They took the little ones. <laughs> I tried to take the ring from Frodo. Don't you? We have to go. We have no choice. There you go, Paul. Paul, someone who's so prescient and clever, you're being very dumb right now. That's why you shouldn't listen to your emotions. Yeah, don't do it, guys. Now nah, he's dead. That's such a nice shot. This whole movie is just... Mwah. Or top turret. Come on, my love. Get, get in, in the, the top turret, my love. <laughs> get in the top turret. We're gonna fly you through the storm, my love. Mm, top turret. Get in the top turret. Well, I got a brand new or top turret, and I'll <laughs> give you the key. So, come on, Paul. And get us up, Paul. And Paul. <laughs> you didn't have a problem getting up before. This is mum. <laughs> Where is the mind killer? I've tried <laughs> using that if I'm stressed at work. <laughs> like, oh my god, have you really, have you really, <laughs> what? You started reciting the Benny Gesserit <laughs> prayer. He's fine. Nothing survives such a storm. They're dead. It's like a point where you tell your parents, like, I did do the homework. I, I, I mean, I, I did, I did do it. <laughs> I, I know I didn't hand it in on time, but I, like... I, 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 I did it. They're just like, do you think a worm is for me? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Sorry. It's all the spice. <laughs> I don't really know how they outrun the worm again. Does he's moo a deeb, innit? Hey, wow. Hey, wow. Hey, wow. You got any toothpaste? <laughs> I would not have let you hurt my friends. I've had dreams about oh, you. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, shit. Uh, don't show my boner. Don't show my boner. It's pushing against the still suit. Isn't that a bit like cheating? Hmm. He's already seen the moves that are gonna happen. He's gonna do a right and left and left, left and right. I don't believe you're the Lisa on Al Gahib. But I want you to die with honor. Mate, she does not give a fuck. Nope. She's like, there you go, white boy. Yeah. <laughs> How about it? Jonas is a good fighter. He won't let you suffer. She's basically just telling him, you're fucked, mate. I love you. I mean, bye. <laughs> Fucking weird. <laughs> <laughs> fucking creeper. It's gonna get a good seat and watch you get stabbed. Quicker this way. Not even looking at him, the disrespect. When a boy becomes a man, when he commits murder. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You only get your balls full when you've got your blood flowing. Everyone's being really nice to me because I've killed someone. O honestly. This is like a serial killer's origin story. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, damn. She's like, oh my god, you killed him so good. So you kill one of my probably uncles. Oh. I've known him since I was five, but... <laughs> I've known you five minutes. <laughs> he's so skinny as well. Like, mm. He's this like lethal praying mantis. <laughs> You're one of us now. One of us. One of one us. Of us. My road leads into the desert. Go on, manipulate them poorly. Manipulate them good. <laughs> you can see it in my trips. I was tripping bells the other day. I'm gonna be the king, you bitches. The thing is, what's confusing is in the tent, he was like, there's all this horrible stuff happening in my father's name. I don't want it to happen. Yet at the same time, I'm gonna follow my visions, which leads to it happening. <laughs> Side note, guys, with the um, dead people of the Fremen, what they do is they put them into a tomb and turn them into water. So technically, yum, yum. all the Fremen are technically cannibals. Is it is it cannibalism if you drink them and not eat them, though? Yeah. Turn them into a little smoothie. If you drink someone's blood, you're, you're still a cannibal. Mm, shame. Look at this flex. Look at that flex. Ooh. Super flex. Who's that? It's just a Fremen riding a fucking worm. Ah. Nope, there's yeah. one of his visions coming true. Tick. He's doing the dot to dot in his brain. She's smiling, but then wait for it. Look at that. Oh, she's like... She's like... Shit. Fuck, I created a monster. Shit. 
June, a David Lynch special. Toto composed... Do you know who Toto are? I bless the rain down in Africa. <laughs> they composed this. Toto. Oh my God. They literally look like a Lady Gaga music video. Ooh. <laughs> it's business time. Mm. It's business. It's business time. Come on down, get up, down, up, down, 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 down. Bring out the gimp. <laughs> <laughs> oh, space guild navigators. That's amazing. Are you sure? It just looks like a fucking tumorous vagina. <laughs> Am I right? Uh... House Atreides. Atreides nuts! Oh! Ew! Ew! What the fuck? I did not say this. I am not here. <laughs> <laughs> you don't see anything. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> Just reminds me, have you ever seen the gif of Homer, like, fading into the hedge? We use that gif at work so much. <laughs> that is the gimp squad, if ever I've seen it. Nobody expects the Spanish Inquisition. <laughs> Look at those brows. I heard you, Dr. Yui... And Gurney coming down the hall. Do you believe that he's 17? Because he looks 20 going on 30. <laughs> yeah. He looks like he, he has a wife and two kids. It's like he's 30 years old, but everyone in the family's like, now little Paul still thinks that he's 12, so everyone <laughs> just go with it. I'm sorry, Gurney. Not sorry enough. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I love it even more. It's science fiction. Meets roadblocks. <laughs> we may lose both bloodlines now. I don't care. You're just jealous, bitch, because I only <laughs> shaved my head. And yeah. I look great. Just because you've got alopecia and I've got this bony lace front wig. Hello, mother. I feel like there's an awkward sexual tension between Paul and his mum. Let's cut some branches off this family tree, huh? <laughs> It's family G. Needs a pruning. <laughs> no. Ew. Uh, she just sounds like she she's been smoking like fifty packs a day, and she needs like a you know those um, voice defibrillators or whatever they're called. <laughs> What's in the box? Pain. Stop. <laughs> oh, I'll kill you with my netting thimble. <laughs> Your instinct will be. To remove your hand from the box. If you do so. I will be very, very disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> you will feel an itching. Are you up? Oh my god. An itching? There. Oh, right, right there. Oh yeah. Must not feel flesh. Mate, the Reverend Mother, this is just affirmed to me that she is a horny bitch. Oh. Okay, she's, she's loving it. Turning. I think that just about did it. That Reverend Mother was fucking lapping that up. She was like, a little bit more? A little bit more? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> I love how the Hanukkah's home world is basically just London. <laughs> uh, uh, no, no. <laughs> what is this? Oh, no. Oh, oh no no no! no. Look at the way. Police has changed a lot. <laughs> like... <laughs> when the ugly brother thinks he's as cute as the other brother. Yeah. Why is everyone ginger? Because they're evil. <laughs> <laughs> it's really one come in there too much of the bowl juice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you think he just carries on floating? And he's like. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, this Oh my gosh, I am so sad. Yeah. <laughs> I am so sad and so lonely. Oh god. It looks <laughs> like. A floating scrotum! <laughs> oh, look at him go! It's like a sperm going to an egg. <laughs> <laughs> uh, look at his little legs. <laughs> 
Those spammy likes. There's people watching this being like, wait, I watched the new one. What the fuck is this? <laughs> My message, it's here. Ew. There are more enemy bodies coming in for your inspection, Dr. UA. He <laughs> looks ridiculous. His lips are so grim. His fringe and eyebrows look like they're gonna, gonna merge at any time. <laughs> Damn the spice. Get out of there. Dumb the spice. <laughs> <laughs> Get to the chopper. Get to the Othaptor. <laughs> <laughs> that just looks like a big finger. <laughs> you can imagine they just filmed it and it's just one guy in a sandpit. Just, like, just going. <laughs> Spice. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, give me some money, mate. Oh yeah, you can buy some money, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's just like, yeah, he's licking, licking his chops. His fingers. <laughs> He's just he's just picking his nose and yeah. eating it with the spice. And he's just rubbing it into his gums. <laughs> I must admit, against all better judgment, I like this duke. Why are we getting it in a monologue? Like, I can't bother translating the book into yeah. acting. So when you go and see those teachers that are reading out the presentation that's written on the screen. You literally could have saved us two hours and just sent us the document. But of course you, you didn't know my wife. The harp. Forgive me. They must have killed her. Oh, we get it. Stop explaining the story. There's the imperial conditioning. Assurance of trust. So much great storytelling is implied rather than just told to you. Whilst this film just tells you everything, we don't need to know the mum's inner monologue. What is it doing to me? Oh god. Mate, if I was having missions like that, I'd be so worried. <laughs> Nobody expects the Benny Jeffries! <laughs> oh, Paul. He I want a secret. Can't get me if I don't move. Stop explaining everything! <laughs> oh. hey, if you want to know what's going on in the new Dune movie, watch this Dune movie. I've got to try to grab it. The suspense revealed will make it slippery. It it's like I'm watching a movie and someone's explaining it next to me and I just want to tell them to shut up. A tooth. Oh god, isn't he the guy that Put it away! <laughs> He's got the pug! He's got the pug! <laughs> he brought the pug Why with him? Why is he rubbing in with the pug? <laughs> that seems like it's going to hamper him more than anything. Bear the pug! <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is going on here? What's going on? What are we watching? I wish this was Paul. What? Why? 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 Okay, so the Harkonnens all have really weird, like, fixations. Me, he just gets hard every time someone dies. We move on. <laughs> it's the Cookie Monster. That guy looks like the Weasley father. Why would you say that? I'm sorry. You upset so many people. I want to know the creative reason why he made them ginger though. <laughs> why do you think David Lynch... I think he's just got something against them. <laughs> Maybe he had like an ex-girlfriend that he just wanted to get back at. No, well, it was like, like Sting was like, my hair's ginger now, just deal with it. It's like, yeah. right, now we got to change everyone's hair colour, guys. <laughs> We're just paying Sting a lot more. Later he's dead. No, he's dead. She's way too emotional to be a Benny Jesse. But she's emotional in the new one as well, isn't she? Not to that level. Yeah. She's like a weeping housewife in this one. Oh, uh, so grim. Oh, it looks like a flashlight. Would I stick my dick in it? I do not know. <laughs> <laughs> you carry my unborn sister in your womb. He knows. Yeah, he just said it. I'm ready. I'm ready. But I'm Miss Skeletor. Why did we come to a racket? Whenever I see the worm mouth opening, I expect it to go <laughs> food machine. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> what happened? Why did it leave? Oh, here we go. Why is Jessica so useless in this film? Because she's a woman. We can't have any women doing important roles in our movie. All right? She's got to be home. She's an hysterical woman. I would not have permitted you to harm my tribe. 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 From my dreams. He starts doing like internal <laughs> monologue out loud and she's like, 
I can hear you, you fucking creep. <laughs> Why are you talking out loud? <laughs> you know you're talking out loud, right? You, you started weird, saying weird sexual stuff about your mom. <laughs> but you must choose the name of manhood, which we will call you openly. Call me Big Dick Penis Boy. <laughs> can I be cool as Paul Long John Stackins? Paul Banana Hammock Deep. <laughs> Can you call me Paul with the big worm? <laughs> <laughs> this is spoilers for the second new June film that's coming out in November. Please, if you're going to see it in cinemas, don't watch any further. Oh, I can't look at him. Oh, you can look at him though. <laughs> I'll send you Fade. He wants to fuck Fade. He wants to fuck his own nephew. That he wants to go to Plow Town. Lovely Fade. What Fade's thinking is Don't stand. Don't stand so <laughs> Don't stand so close to me. <laughs> and then the Baron's thinking Every bit you <laughs> Wow, they're just jumping ahead now, aren't they? Following the Bene Gesserit tradition, the old Reverend Mother surrendered her life as she surrendered her knowledge. Oh, does the previous yeah, Reverend yeah, Mother yeah. die? Well, she goes into her brain. So all the Reverend Mothers are living inside your head. Oh, that sounds horrible. Oh, yeah, it's pretty good. Am I the one? Oh, shut up. When they're having all this war of life and stuff, becoming Reverend Mother or Kwisatz Haderach, they're basically listening to the inner monologue of all of their ancestors. Oh. All the time. I'd just be saying, no, I don't want that for tea, Jennifer. And Janice, shut the fuck up. Nobody cares about your five o'clock nail appointment, okay? And you, Gertrude, rude. And Stephanie, thank you for the moral support. <laughs> <laughs> you must care for it if you wish to live. Poison has been introduced into your body through flowers. What are they going to do to the poor oh, kitty? And the rat as well. Are they going to splice them together? This feels a bit like some... animal abuse right now. What was Sting doing with that cat? Are we ever going to find out? <laughs> I don't think we are. Kitty goes meow. What? No foreplay, straight to making babies. <laughs> Let's make a baby. <laughs> He's just like, wait. Take a bit of line spice. <laughs> okay, I'm ready to go. <laughs> They're not even kissing. They're just touching lips. They're just touching lips. It's like <laughs> he wants to peck and she wants to tongue. It's not lining up. Stilgar, your leader, has asked me and my mother to teach you the weirding way to crush the Harkonnens. It hasn't really explained why Stilgar trusts them or, you know. No, they've just put him in a position of power without actually really explaining the prophecy that well. They've over explained everything else though. <laughs> I know! So he's got a little microphone on like he's doing some sort of magician's <laughs> concert. <laughs> and now I will cut the stone in her. They are ready to fight, yet in order to lead them, I must conquer the worm. Conquer Shai Halud. I want to conquer Shai Halud. I want to fuck Shai Halud. <laughs> <laughs> fuck Shai right as butter. <laughs> Russell has called a big one. <laughs> oh, he's caught a big one, you need a really big worm. Look at the size of that one, get it's, down, hold it. It's about it? 50 foot long, this one. Hey, oh, you want to get it up, Shumi, you want to get a nice turn on it, get hooks <laughs> in. No, on a 45 degree angle, more like a 42. <laughs> If you think about it, he's just put a shovel in it. Uh, oh. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Come on, guys, does this count? Spider Paul, Spider Paul. That's whatever a Spider Paul does. And he rides on a worm. Yes, he can. He's no adib. Watch out for the Spider Paul. <laughs> Captain Dump reporting for Twitter. I just smell my own farts in this mask. <laughs> <laughs> and they smell great. <laughs> Musky. Paul's sister Alia matured at a frightening rate. Her small body harbored tremendous powers. Paul and Chani's love grew. <laughs> so got half an hour to go. Oh yeah, Paul Paul loves Chani, by the way. <laughs> by the way, it's a montage within a montage. That's called a montage. montage. Even 
Rocky had a montage. It's like they took forever to do the first half of the book, and now they're just speed running the second Quick, half. Round it up, guys. <laughs> The Game Squad! I would like you to twist my nipples at 90 degree angles and tick clockwise, please. <laughs> and don't forget to tickle my sphincter whilst you're done. Harkonnens cannot stop him. Remedy this situation. <laughs> I want to make sandcastles. And now you'll see me escape from this, <laughs> from these 16 locks. All I see is darkness. The darkness. I believe in a thing called you. <laughs> Many men. Wish death upon me. They tried and failed. They tried and died. Oh, he's having the water lie. The worm is the spice. The spice is the worm. We don't like it. It's got lemon zest in it. <laughs> the worm is the spice. The spice is the worm. We're all connected. We're all infinite atoms all blending together. <laughs> you know what I want? I want a voiceover of Brian Cox in his head just going, <laughs> and we see that the universe <laughs> is actually just a worm. And inside the worm, we have the universe. We're all connected. Yeah, this went on for like another two hours, so... Oh, this should be good. Bro! I saw the universe! I saw worms eating worms. And it's mine. And we all just took spice together and we're like, whoa, we're all connected by the spice. And I was like, whoa. And the worm was like, whoa. And I was like, whoa. Father! They just look like a bunch, like they've just dropped a bunch of screws on the floor. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what is this electric guitar? Flash! We are the feminine! <laughs> do, 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 do. Feels like they're going to start doing flash dance or something, do you know? No, we'll start doing river dance or, on top um, of its back. Or oh, what's it called? Uh, Footloose. Yeah. Get out of my mind! <laughs> yeah, until you tell them both who I really am. What? It's Alia! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> she comes in, she's like, Right, you fuckers, I want a lollipop, some pretzels, and some colouring crayons. Plus, get the fuck out of my rack. <laughs> <laughs> and you, you Benny Jesuit piece of shit. There's a new reverend mother in town with my mom. <laughs> Beat it. Oh, God, what's happening now? That's all right, babes. It's a lot to take in. Now I've read the book. <laughs> my brother is coming with many Fremen warriors. I can't take it seriously as a character. Father. Today I will avenge your death. Oh my god! <laughs> Still need that monologue. I like how he's just like, the worms are spice, the spice is worm, they're all one. Fuck this worm. <laughs> <laughs> She's pull out his nipples. I never knew that was his weakness. She's like waving it at him in like a little ing and in yum me. Oh, he's floating away. <laughs> And don't tell me that's how he... My disappointment is immeasurable. And my day is ruined. <laughs> child of death. <laughs> She's just outside spinning around in a circle. <laughs> just like... She's rolling around in blood. <laughs> making like sand angels. <laughs> you like my blood sand angels, Paul? Emperor Shaddam the Fourth. Shaddam, boy. <laughs> I can kill with a word. <laughs> it turns me on. I'm gonna put the hand back in the box. Roxanne. I'm gonna slice your boyfriend's throat. Well, we didn't get to see much of Sting, did we? No. Tell you what, though, that must have stung. More deep. More deep. More like, moo it down. <laughs> this last 30 minutes feels like we've sped run the whole book. To lead the people to true freedom 
and to change the face of Arrakis. And then now the type of music that should be playing is dun 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 He starts breathing in his uh, Fremen tube like (laughs) (laughs) Trani, I am your home slash. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's because Paul made it rain. Is that what happened? No, he bloody doesn't. It's a trap. It's a trap. <laughs> hey, ladies. Ready, ready for a jonesing. Kyle McLock in your lane. Vagina mad son. Everett Middleweed. <laughs> Jack Big Old Lance. Sean Fill My Lips. Paul Smite Your Mum. <laughs> Patrick Stew on my warts. Oh. Sting my anus. <laughs> Dean Cockwell Stockwell. <laughs> Lately, fill my days are with all this main stuff. Hottest part of the day is the way it go. Trying to keep my eyes shut. My butterflies feel more like.